think I was just going to go back to the ancient mine. Right? Because everything else is basically done. Look at my notes for this game. Hold on a second. So there's the owlbears, northeast of the witch. Painful bog had that really rough lizard. Mm-hmm. I think I was just gonna do the ancient mines. Oh yeah. Let's just check the journal to make sure that we don't have anything pending that I forgot about. Artisan and all March. Ancient Curse Part 3. Work on that. Nazarel did that. So, yeah, let's just go hit the mines and then uh, we'll go home for a little bit. Check up on home base. Stand ready. Just letting the ink dry. Something bothering you? The fact that Valerie's wearing my helmet, the, the helmet I was wearing, keeps throwing me off. It's had that helmet for so long. According to plan. They're ancient wyvern. I am your shield. Let us strike as one. I really wish I would have paid attention to where that water spirit was, like, way long ago. I don't remember. The words on the ancient stone are barely visible. Property of the house Trestrin. Okay. In due time. Property of the house of Trestrin. Not sure what that means. Do I know that house? Should I know that house? Amulet of natural armor. Here, you can have it. What was it? Let's see the map. Okay, well that was easy. Man, I really wish. What landmark? I know it's like one of these areas. I just can't remember where it was. Oh well. Actually, no. Have 
a moment of respite? It's kind of my kingdom. Nasty rumor has spread. Okay, he's able to get the rumor down. Great, great, great. Two enemy merchant families are joining in a highly celebrated wedding. The Baron received a request that a splendid ceremony be held in the main square of the capital. Fantastic. Ooh. There's nobody else that can do this. Damn. Okay, that's gonna require me. And 375 BP, Jesus. I am so poor. Why are you making me do this game? Um, so I want to claim Silver Step. Okay. So let's check these two areas out. See if I can find the Water Spirit at either of these. Um, no matter, we're going to head back to the kingdom after the words. I'm going to somehow pull 200 BP out of my... Did you see that Goblin Prince's wolf? That was one impressive beast. I haven't the slightest idea how the goblins tamed them. Where did they get the sense to do it? One can only imagine it was some sort of divine intervention. For that, I want to check out Varnold. This place looks interesting. Wait, wait, wait. Is that where I came from? I don't think so. No, I think I came from northeast. Yeah, no, I came from rest off. Okay. But I do want to check this place out eventually. Oh, shit, that's right. We can't cross here. Hardly worth anyone's time. Alright, I have a lot of gold. I should be able to convert a lot of that to BP. Pretty sure I already cleared this spot, but let's check. May we have a moment of respite? There's this one spot that we left a water spirit in because I couldn't kill it. Yeah, we've already cleared this place. Resting would be nice, don't you think? Where it's one of these two. It could be anywhere, actually. I shouldn't swear on anything because I have no idea where it is. I'm hungry. When we stop. Looks like it's it. Okay, let's rest before we do this, though. I don't want everyone missing because they're tired. I've met a lot of people. Fought side by side with many of them. The best allies in the stolen lands were the steadfast Maivani. 
They're always reliable, unlike Brevins. Southerners are all the same. Cowards with no pride or courage. Get on the hind for a second. Okay. Let's turn off my Warframe overlay. As it should be. Okay, this is definitely it. I remember this place. And you are up here. Pretty sure this is going to be trivial. Attack! We'll see. Wow. Uh, I wonder if fire does anything to him. No. Doesn't matter, he's dead. Yep, trivial. All according to plan. I wrote it like I saw it. It was definitely like a hard encounter for low level, but from where I am now, not an issue. I just wanted to clear that out. Cool. Now I'll stop thinking about it. Okie doke. Let's go home and try to take over that area. Okay. No one's tired yet, so let's do this. See what you have, sir. All this crap. Really like that luck thing. It's really good if we ever get a monk. Not a big fan of that spell. Anyways. Don't need this. Definitely don't need that. This is relevant now. To like prayer though. Don't want to get rid of this yet. Okay. Now what I need. Where is it? God 
So much money. And I can get my bag of holding right now. That's the worst part. Okay, we're doing it. In due time. Uh, we just, well, not just, but uh, recently finished up Season of Bloom. Well, at least to here to Season of Bloom. It looks settled. As far as I know. And I still have 153 days for the Ancient Curse. That is not far. So I figure like I'm kind of like roaming now and working on my kingdom. Oh, nice. Very awesome. Yeah, I didn't get a lot of time this weekend to play. But yeah. Get some money back. Still don't know all that horse part stuff. Oh, I'm just asking this. How are handling? Uh, how are you handling your new job? I'm immensely grateful for the position, Your Grace. Thanks to it, I daily discover my new stories of living people and their art. Leave me now. As it should be. Okay, keeping this, this. And where are those pieces? I had some more cuff pieces, but I guess not. I still don't know why I'm carrying the Mite Relic with me. I have a feeling this had to do with the Kobolds and stuff, and like, had I chose the right path, I could give it to them. But I apparently did not. Three, three, I'm one short of this, one short of these. Five, sh nope, four short of those. And four short of these. Okay. And then there's like these hodgepodge pieces that I don't want to like put in here. They seem important still. Okay. Did I grab enough BP? Well, even if I didn't, I can grab some from here. I need to be sixty four. <sighs> so expensive. Didn't I just? Thought I just bought it. What happened? There we go. It just didn't reflect here. That freaks me out. Oh my god. <laughs> I was about to freak out. I was like, what? I thought I had enough. I did my math wrong anyways. That's fine. Alright. Something strange is happening in the region. Residents are complaining of strange force and something was Casting spells to harm barony subjects. The reason the culprit must be discovered. And that was not the time. I'm busy taking over something. Okay, well now I have silver step.
Asamar is hired by the curator, immediately spread the word among the barren subject. The treasure was found by an Asamar, a collector from the capital, to show his gratitude. He opened the school for music and poetry. Cool. Your faithful people have raised a large sum of money to build a sanctuary. Now they only have to handle the funds wisely and see the work is done. The advisor was competent enough to organize the construction. Not a single coin was pilfered or wasted. Lost a little bit of loyalty there. How am I doing on loyalty? Really well, so I don't care. Alright. The region insisted that all old wedding traditions be observed. A splendid military and sacred process drew admiration of onlookers and guests. <sighs> Shit. It demands me. You go handle this. Magic, a face, magic summit. Luck. That's not good. Craftsman strike, go handle this. Okay. Well, that is happening. It on down. Hmm. Let's put it here. I don't like the name Silvershire at all. Um. Should have some BP because I was. Yeah. Man. I didn't think I was going to need to name a new city so quickly. Um, that's right by the river. Okay. Build a few things on here. I feel like we need a store if we're gonna have a pier. So let's do a tavern. Pier. That's all I can afford, because I am poor. Like, all my towns still have plenty of space to build in. I just don't have the money to do it. Okay, to the throne room. Valerie, what's going on? Valerie rubs her temple thoughtfully. Your barony requires it. A diplomat to gas relations with our neighbors require special attention, appointing a new advisor to manage this aspect of your barony. Uh, before you you transfer these responsibilities to someone, I would like to make in one suggestion. No country can ignore the interests of its citizens who travel beyond its borders. Our most active trade relations and culture exchange are with Brevoy. I suggest we arrange with them to build a consult in the capital, then all of our subjects who visit there can enjoy support and protection. I see it's worth, okay. Then I shall make the necessary arrangements. And dialogue. We don't have 75 BP, how did we pay for that? Why would you look at that? Sweat Svetlana sent you a letter. It seems she worried about old Boken. This letter is very emotional. And dialogue. Who are you? Mim Wobble Gander. There you are. I wanted to see you in person for a long time. All of Broive is talking about your feats. The girl is smiling curiously. Sizing you up and she finally nods to you. Mim Wobble Gander, the greatest goldsmith in rest up at your service. Happy to meet the ruler of the land. 
You know, it's quite beautiful here. The view of the lake surrounded by picturesque green forests were inspiration for a lovely brooch design. I do have a sapphire, but no green jewels, and I have no idea who can help me with these. We're surrounded by simpletons here who know nothing about the sublime matter, except for you, of course. Mim looks at you meaningfully. What is the great goldsmith in Rostov doing in this backwater? Seeking recognition and inspiration, you see. Not everyone in Rostov realizes how unfair destiny has divided its gift between me and my companions. I got all the talents you see. They got all the glory and respect. It's all nonsense, though. I'll soon remedy the irksome situation. Going negative and BQ can... Okay, I'll just buy some once I get out of this. Besides, I'm mortally tired of rest of dust and grayness, and the view from here to Tor Levis is beyond compare. Just look at the peaks. Such mysterious power and their ease... and their easy dignity. Um, these remind me what you're asking for. We're an emerald. I plan to make a brooch that will combine the hues of all the lands, blue lake, and the green of the young pines. I do have a sapphire, but I'm missing a green jewel. Very well, you shall have your gemstone. Wonderful. I shall impatiently await your return. Half-orc bows diligently, trying to adhere to etiquette. Your grace, I come bearing gifts, a sign of my gratitude for taking the old man in your service. With such weapons, you can go on raids and protect your land. Everything has been tempered in lamb blood. With proper prayer to all the proper gods, everything is done with care for your pers for you personally. Anyways, it was amusing work, but I could give you something even more impressive, a weapon worthy of Garum Herald, but I'll need your help with something. Come by if you're interested. Thank you. Keep at it, Varisk. Badly, when a weapon or armor is made for a good fight, the work does itself, and I know many great fights await you. Right, I'll have to go visit him. Just BP. I am in the negative. Cool. Fix it. Do you need another advisor, though? Who can fill this position? Lindsay. You're best with relationships. Okay, so I gotta support her. Trade agreement. Merchants will see. Oh no, this is the one I can't afford still. Can think about saving up for this one. Okay. I need a quick save before I actually do this upgrade. <laughs> Dude, it's the only person I've got for relations. I mean, I can always go back and get the crazy uh, priestess. See if she wants to do anything. Ah, we gotta go talk to Broken again. She needs an emerald. Okay, but I got word that something is hurting my citizens. So I would like to know what that is. I wonder what that warning was about.
But yeah, like, I have no other choice. She's gotta be... She's gotta be it. Alright. Letter from Slavlan Alert. Your Grace, I hope the matter and the state of the lands of yours are indeed all fine and well, and what troubles there are don't weigh too heavily on your mind. I write to ask you to check your local herb doctor, Broken. Poor old man is losing his mind. He spends all day and night stooped over his cauldron. He looks about to lash out at anyone, especially those he doesn't know. He even snarls at me, Oleg, when he needs, when he never have let himself do before. Please come and see him before the old cadre loses his mind completely. May Aristotle save him. We've no one to return or no one to turn to but you. Hoping you come as soon as possible. I remain very truly yours, Sklevlin. Okay, fine. Let's do that, and then we'll come back. And I'll do the upgrade. Actually, let's do the upgrade now. That way we have BP when we travel north. Easy, <laughs> or she's... Well, I don't know how to do diplomacy, so I just had everyone, you know, get naked. That worked out. <laughs> it says this, but I'm not seeing anything in my quest log for this. Well, that sucks. But I didn't have anyone that could work on it. Can we just hold on real quick? Okay, we'll see this. God. Oh my god, everyone needs to talk to me right now. Why? Why can't this wait? BP. I don't have enough BP. I definitely don't want him or her doing it. Is there anyone else that can do this? He's only 75. This would be perfect. Okay. I will do the town thing later. Let's talk to everyone that needs to talk to me. Works for Pixis. Yes, it does work for Pixis. That is very true. So we'll only take a moment, really, it's nothing, but I do need your advice. Speaking of Pictux. Some hunters from Pictux are wandering the outskirts of our barony. If you ask me, I don't care. There's enough game for everyone. The locals are outraged. What kind of barony is it if just anyone can cross our borders? We're not going to introduce border patrols because I, a couple of dogs got shot, right? Oh, we totally are. We will immediately increase the border control. We must put an end to such incursions immediately. Seriously, just because someone got lost while they were hunting, we could just pretend we didn't notice. No, we need stability right now. And I don't like pit talks. We have better relations with other people. Yes, a local merchant wishes to be... Relieved of his taxes, which naturally stands against the laws of the barony, in return for the service, he promised to put in good word for you among the city's trade community. No. Tristan's voice is very soft. I realize such an affair might stir you to outrage, but try to understand. Greed can cloud anyone's judgment, wealth and pauper alike. We must teach these people that times have changed. The laws no longer stir only the rich. Reject this offer, but refrain from punishing him. Yeah, I'm gonna do this. You'll have to turn down many similar offices, but eventually people will come to realize that stolen have changed. Henceforth, everyone is equal before the law. Yeah, no. Uh, I'm not gonna, like, totally punish the dude, but you gotta pay your taxes, man. I'm poor. <laughs> I need your money. Henry looks unusually grim today. Listen, 
We need to talk, but in front, in front of everyone, after the council, come to the tavern. It's about my tribe. God. Dragon, what's up, bro? Bows before the waste and dresses you ceremoniously. Greetings, your grace. By tradition, if a worthy ruler is a patron to a master, the master gives generous in return. I have come to honor that tradition. Please accept this. I worked hard on it. I hope it serves well. Thank you for your gift. It's a pleasure to work hard for such an honorable lord. Uh, thank you. Okay. I know that something is hurting my people, but like, it's not telling me anything in my quest book. I don't know how to address it. I guess I could go talk to people. That's weird. Anyways, let's go find Amory and see what her deal is. Barbarian, oh yeah. Barbarian sips the beer from the mug Grimlock. She hesitates as if she doesn't know where to begin. Once I told you about my tribe, remember? The six sparrows, of course I remember. Me, I'd be happy to forget, but they were spotted on your land. Our scouts told scouts told they saw the camp near Numeria border. What are they doing here? If you're asking me, I have I don't have no idea. I really hoped I'd never see these those ugly faces. I walked across Numeria to be as far from them as I could. Now they follow me. What the hell? So, let's visit my old tribe, find out what the, do they want so far from the snow, and then we can kick them back. Sounds good. She finishes your beer in one gulp, then belches and stumbles towards the tavern maid to order another. All right. Um, hey, Chief Emery gives a broad grin. What's on your mind? So you've proven yourself to be a mighty warrior. I may have. The trail's finished, and if someone never doubts me, I proved it. Emery shakes her fist at the unseen offender. So why did you leave your tribe, and what's the story about the frost giants? I already told you. They were assholes. They treated women like sheep, not fighters. Emery frowns. As for the giants, I'll tell you later. Someday, maybe. Thanks for talking with me. Okay. So Emery wants to f meet with her people. I want to travel north to talk to Olog. Also, I want to visit the hill because apparently people are having problems again. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to Bald Hilltop. Oh my god, what? We will do that when we come back. God, everything needs to level up. Then build a town. Then the expensive ass trade increment. Okay, my relations could use some work, so probably be wise. But for now. To... Okay, so we're gonna go to the trading post after visiting Bald Hilltop. Once again, something is happening to my kingdom, and this seems to be the offender every single time. But we'll visit Olog, we'll go fight the bear tribe, and then we'll try to come back. Ah, yeah, sometimes you can kick the legs off of a. 
Hello, Wisp. In due time. That totally makes sense. That's actually really funny. Okay, I keep getting that warning that stuff is plaguing the land. Follow my lead. And I'm getting no hint beyond that. Nothing going on at the hilltop. Probably one of the curses that I was supposed to like deal with my advisors that I never did. Okay. of respite we're almost at Oleg's trading post I'm hungry when we stop we're here people quit complaining that is not far okay Boken What's up? Bogan looks tired and haggard. His face is gray, his brows furrowed, and his eyes shine with a feverish glow. Who's there? What is it? Oh, it's you. How convenient. I need your help. We have to run some tests. Tests? What tests? Bogan, I found the formula, all on my own. These damned books didn't have it. Nothing but hints and half-truths. But you can't fool old Bogan that easily. Heh heh heh. What formula? Bogan. Elixir of Eternal Youth, a most wondrous brew, restores the strength in one's hands and the swiftness in one's feet. I first heard of it when I was still just a lad and didn't believe it in it or believe in it, but now I've lived long, a long life and I've seen even stranger things. So I thought, why not give it a try? So I asked you to find these books for me. I'd heard that one of the volumes contained a formula. Well, it turns out they don't. All they do is make things clear as mud. Still, I was able to find something useful in there. Can't remember how many nights I stayed up working on the solution, but here it is. Bokin proudly shows you a few vials filled with silvery liquids. Can't drink it yet, though. Must test it first. Can't be too careful with these things. Bokin gives an expectant look. So, will you help? Uh, no, Bokin. Lana is worried about you, and I can see she's right. You're obsessed with this idea. It won't lead anywhere good. Bokin is almost shaken with indignation. So that's how it is. The mischievous schemer. Fine. I'll just make it on my own. It won't be the first time. Uh, I'm not gonna... Whoa, 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 whoa. I think not. I guess I have to drink it. That's stupid. Why are they making me drink some random liquid? That just seems dangerous. I tire. I'm hungry. When we stop. All according to plan. All right, I'll do it. Wonderful, thank you. Let's try it on the dog first. There's a mud on a leash around the corner. We can test on it. I won't feel bad for it if something goes wrong. That'll teach it to stop barking at me <laughs> every time I pass by. I could do it myself, but what if it off the leash? It won't harm you as it would harm me.
I'm not tormenting a living creature for the sake of your ambition. Who can is practically shaken with indigenous. Oh, god damn it. Oh my god, dude. This quest is messed up. <laughs> I have to test it on the dog. I don't want to test it on the dog. Spam call. It is. Leashed up. All according to plan. Resting would be nice, don't you think? Sorry, dog. Of course it's going to attack me. Oh! Your potion made the dog go mad and attack me. Mad dog. Sounds wrong. Very wrong. I must have made a mistake. To the demons with the dogs, we need someone more human to experiment on. Know what? My neighbor, a hunter, once told me he saw a were rat in a forest not far from here. They make better test subjects after all. They're closer to humans than dogs. We should find them and try again. But take this vial. This potion has a different, improved formula. Oh my god. In due time. <laughs> See, that's the thing. It's not that the dog attacked me. It's that it, it exploded. Like, did I hit it that hard? I don't think I did. Doesn't look like it did. It just says the dog died. Unless 11 damage was enough to make it explode. Oh, which I forgot. I got, I've got more weapons. Forgot about fly sweater. Ooh, wow. Wait, hold on. Okay. She sent me the letter, but she doesn't want to talk about the fact that we just made a dog explode. That's weird. <laughs> that is true. Very weak dog. Feel good about what we did, but we had to do it. I think Who needs ankle breaker. Do I have someone else who's got a heavy crossbow? I think I do. Hold on. You got a heavy crossbow plus two. 
you have a bow, but usually use light crossbow, you've got ankle breaker already. I should probably sell the other one. Lice water is pretty cool though. Hmm. Save it for later. Both of them. So here I go, let's talk to some were rats and make them explode. This is the leader I've become. Hunched gray figure. Oh shit! My chaotic neutral option. All right. Hunched gray figures turn to face as you approach. Yellow fangs show, grinning muzzles and claws, and clawed paws reach for weapons. Chaotic neutral. What do you know? I was just looking for a couple of lab rats. Do I have a volunteer? Pack leader snouts. Die, Balkins. Oops. We shall overcome. <laughs> This attack. Make music. Left yourself open. Hmm. Actually, no, 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 don't do that. That's a waste. Um, just hit this dude. Repent. Kill him. You need to hit the leader with fireball. Shit, dude, you're getting beat on. Um, whoops, did I? She killed him as he went down. Okay, right, let's try this again, guys. Time maybe with a little bit more gusto. I'm listening. This one. Damn it. Did that to myself. Okay. This should do it. A calculated risk. Tear them apart! Berserk. Uh let's try this again. Actually, let's do the crazy fireball thingy. Uh, let's not do that one yet. Do this. Right. Good. And prayer. Actually, you know what? Beat on the lesser were rat. There we go.
What you looking at? Finish me off. Pour the potion into the were rat's mouth. Here, take a sip of this first. This is so messed up. I mean, yeah, they're were rats, but. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, this is not a good experiment because we can't really tell if it was Bogan's potion that killed the rat or the fact that we pounded his face in. It could have been either or. I'm not actually going to take blame for this. We'll say the potion killed him. Killed all four of them. His tisk, Bogan. Bag of cheese. Oh, boots. Nice. That's fine. According to plan. Oh, well, I mean, it's my kingdom, so. Dude's trying to work on a potion of uh, everlasting youth. I could use that. It's only a couple were rats. Adventures called them. Oh, it's skeleton dude. What's up, dude? I wrote it like I saw it. What do you have on you now? Show me your wares. That's actually pretty good. He uses like nothing but enchanted spells, I believe. Do I really want to spend money right now with this guy? I don't. I'm just going to give him my stuff. Do you have a bastard sword? Do you have a bastard sword this time? A falcon. A flail. You do not. I already bought this tower shield from you. Pretty interesting. That from him, I think, already. Okay. I don't actually want to buy anything from him right now. I feel like my team's doing okay, and we're so broke, and we need the BP, or we need the money for BP, like, yeah, I don't think it'd be a good time to buy. May 
we have a moment of respite? In due time. The rats died from taking the potion. Is that so? Hmm. Rats simply died. The has gone rabbit. You see, my potion wasn't meant to do anything with the mind, only the body. We'll need to go for one final test, it seems. We must try the potion on a human. An elf would do just fine as well, or a dwarf, or Oaken takes a small glass vial from his pocket, exhales sharply, it takes a few gulps, and the vial is empty. Ah. Damn it! Repent. Well, there goes my potion, dude. Did I throw the fireball at him? That was me? That was me. Oops. I thought I threw something else. Okay, that's fine. Everything's fine. No big deal. Oh, no, no, no. He's throwing potions at us. Ah, okay. Now that I know, May we have a moment I can do fire spells. What troubles you? Together we stand. Let's get up, do a little prep work. I wrote it like I saw it. All according to plan. Okay. Let's go ahead and kill one of my favorite people in the kingdom. Good times. Good times. All he does is throw potions? What a jerk. Um Bad fire spells. Good thing I have that protection thing on, because he's just whipping those potions out. Okay, that one hurt. Calm down. This was not part of the plan. Now he's just punching my dude to death. I kind of want him to stop. I'll cast a better heal spell. Drink this. Oh, 
Man. Oh, that's so frustrating because he's the one that has to talk to him. Actually, no, I could probably send Valerie up, right? Game does realize it failed that fight. I tire. No, everyone is tired. I will not falter. We're still gonna fight this fight because we can win this. All according to plan. Here. Valerie, you go talk to him. There we go. Okay. Start trying to get him to calm down. So ridiculous. Oh, why is he attacking my dude? I don't understand why, like, my dude gets uh, the focus. Heal. Use your bigger one. You can vanish. Calm down. Not dead. This was not part of the plan. Okay. Back line, fall back. We shall overcome. This again. You just start doing this. Okay. Do it again. You run over and give him a good heal. Why are you running in front of everybody? Why do you do that? I don't understand. Alright, you're out of those spells. Uh, what do you have left? Nothing good. Oh, I don't want to kill the dog. Please don't stand in the way, pup. Okay. Okay, the old man's eyes are beginning to clear. It seems that he has coming he seems that he's coming back to his senses. What what happened? The potion clouded your mind. You attacked me. Gods, forgive me. Forgive an old man. I didn't know what I was doing. Well, obviously. Poken wipes the sweat from the brow. I've never thought the potion could work in such a way, but still, it does seem to make one stronger. Thank you for all the help. 
Now I know how to iron out the wrinkles, I think. Man. If I didn't like his services so much, I would have killed him. I wrote it like I saw it. That guy is so lucky he's in my good graces. Actually, I don't think you can kill him from that, but... Oh, no, no, I think it did say you could kill him, right? Yeah. That shit. Yo. What does it say in the journal? Okay. That was that. Good stuff. I guess I could have sold the extra stuff while I was out there. Oh well. Alright, now let's go talk to these bear guys. Going on my kingdom. Damn it. Ancient tradition. Okie dokie, Tristan. 95%. Go get it. of respite. Okay. I tire. We should rest here. Your native Kellish is so far away. You must have seen so much in your journeys. Why don't you ever talk about it? I... Actually, I have nothing to tell. Not everyone who travels gets to have adventures. Fair. Things we put up with for free magic crap. Absolutely. <laughs> if you didn't make those bomb potions, man, you'd be a dead man. Alright. What is going on in my kingdom now? Oh, sweet. Well done, Chad. Another one of those. Ah, oh, this is a strange thing is happening in the region. Okay. Good luck with that. And I'm sure this is going to go so well because we're going to be trying to reason with barbarians. What could possibly go wrong? She has the nerve to show her face among us again. Ooh, hey. Yourself. It's them again. Oh. Attack. Nightmare skeletons. Dope. We got this. Triss, get up here. Oh, 
want you to stand in the middle, and I want you to start blowing these things away. Yeah. Boop. Well, that was it. Hey, look. As soon as you approach the camp, a bright-eyed girl in a long skirt runs up to Amiri and gives her a big hug. Amiri, you're really alive. Oh, the girl sobs and wipes her eyes. Everyone said you were killed by the giants, but I always believed you survived. And no one ever found your body. Amiri, I missed you so much. Amelia. Amiri, okay. There now, stop crying. I'm alive. Alive and well. You know, nothing can beat me. Here. Meet each other. Hey, luck. This is Baron Degas. He's something like a new chieftain for me now. Degas, this is Nilak. She... She's the only decent person in my whole lousy tribe. Don't say that. Yes, the elders were mean to you, but you shouldn't blame the whole tribe. Having having wiped her eyes, Nilak pressed her hands against her chest and bows before you. I am Nilak, songkeeper of the Six Bears. We must be the ruler of these lands. Forgive us for intruding into your domain, but we... Wait, really? Emery interrupts. You really songkeeper now? That's great. Since when? Nilak gives her a sad smile. I always wanted to be one. While you were learning to fight, I learned the legends. While you were training with the sword, I trained with the tambourine. Well, that's not a real instrument. But I was initiated during your funeral feast, Emery, when you were saying goodbye to you and your party. As I sang at the funeral pyre, my heart broke in pain. Deza whispered to me and told me how I could turn this pain to power. Even the rocks and stones cried over the fallen when they heard my songs that night. So you're a bard. Great, me too. We should share some songs when we have time. You can tell us what they sing in your tribe, and I'll tell you about Amiri's feats. Nilak, I'd like that. Uh, nice to meet you, Nilak. May both our tribes live in peace. We... About to be interrupted. Chieftain Nakaya, an old gray haired barbarian with a tattooed face, interrupts. Nilak, who are you chatting with? Who are you? Wait. Chieftain Nakaya, he looks closer at Amir's face and suddenly starts to yell, pointing his crooked finger at her. You, pariah, freak, after all you did, still have the nerve to come and show your ugly face here. Chieftain Nakaya, this is Baron Nagas. We're in his lands now. Please soften your heart. Maybe he can help us. Chieftain Akai. Hmm. Hmm. A baron? That's something like a chieftain, right? You don't look like one. Well, whatever. I'm Akai, chieftain of the Six Bear Tribe, and I need to get you to give me this dirty scumbag. He points his finger to a Mary. Valerie. Nice. Valerie. Watch your tongue, chief. You're a guest in these lands, uninvited and not particularly welcome. Akari. <laughs> chieftain Akai. Quiet, woman. The chiefs are talking. You can talk back to warrior just because you learned to put on armor. Ooh, I'm going with the second one. Sounds like you're not too clever, so I'll speak in a language I'm sure you understand. One more rude word, and I'll punch your rotten teeth down your throat. You threaten the six bears, you foolish pup. Don't waste your breath. Thanks to her, we witness horror you can't imagine. So let me tell you what she's done to us. From the dawn of time, our tribe lived in by the old ways. Everyone had a place, a job to do. Men crafted and went hunting. Women bore children and kept the huts clean. These are the ways set up by our ancestors, and we do not change it. Then this upstart girl wants to match herself against men. She passed the warrior's initiation. She went hunting. There's truth in the saying, nothing good comes from a woman with a sword. Neighboring tribes laughed at us. Look, that, look, there's a second chieftain in this tribe. Soft chieftain girl chieftain. Must be the end of the six bears. And they were right. She brought disasters upon our whole tribe. Once a gang of giants came to our lands, they scared our prey, attacked our huntsmen, so we decided to deal with them. We would send a group, and she went along. For a long time, we waited for these group to return. Then we went searching for them even longer. But all we found were the dead bodies. The giants killed them all, every one except for her. And then the things got even worse. 
Have you seen those monsters? An evil spirit sends them. The ghost of a giant. He's the only one who chases us from the land. He chases us through all of Numeria. Even now, he's somewhere nearby. Maybe he's just over the hill. He chased us, kills our people, and always says the same thing. Bring the thief to me. Find Amiri. Chief returns to Amiri, his face red with anger. He shouts, slobbering in her face. Now you understand? That's what your dreams have cost us. You brought a curse on our tribe, Pariah. Now hand me your weapon and get yourself to the woman's hut. This is your place. It always was and always will be. We'll feed you to the ghost and maybe then he'll leave us alone. And at least you'll atone for a tiny part of your guilt. In reply, Mary headbutts the chieftain, breaks his nose with a sick, uh, with sickle crunch, sickly crunch. Paying no heed to Nilak's squeal, the growling, growling in anger, she leaps upon him, punching the old man's faith. The chieftain spits blood and struggles to speak, and then Mary grabs her sword. You realize that a murder will quickly follow. I'm just gonna remain neutral. Oh man, Amiri plunges her sword in the chieftain's chest. She breathes heavily, staring at the old man as he falls to his knees before it. Definitely used a hammer. Definitely used a hammer. Then she looks around the campsite, and all the barbarians who witnessed the scene, Nilak included, dash inside their huts. Panting heavily and swaying like a drunk, Amiri approached you and puts her bloody hands on your shoulder. That old goat said, some evil spirit must be nearby. Let's go. We find him, and we kill him. And then we make things all go back the way they were. I don't owe to them nothing and never. I don't want to see them never again. Okay. Done with waiting. Hold on, dude. We're looting. Oh. Nope. Go ahead and start a song. I'm going to have you cast this. You can go ahead and do this because he looks like he's going to be hard to hit. It's like a frost giant. Do this real quick. Oh shit, we're getting attacked from behind. Um, do this spell. Okay. Go ahead and rough up this dude. How's everyone doing on the front line? Looks okay. I'll go ahead and pop another one of those just in case. Arch misses. Good. Good, good, good. I'll send one of those mean fire thingies into that group. And go ahead and pop another one of these. Okay, he doesn't get affected by that. That's fine. And pop one more into this group. Uh, get ready to heal a barbarian. My friend, pop one more in there because it looks like they're almost dead. Nice. Anything is possible. How may I help? 
like this group is pretty strong. Let's top everyone off. That's it. We're done with the evil spirit. We cut him into pieces and cast him into the wind. You didn't even try to speak with him. Amiri, you've already fought and killed him many times. It's no use. He always comes back. Oh, Amiri, why do you always slash first and think later? So what was I supposed to do? Lay on the ground and for him? Let me let him eat me. Next. Amiri is right. There's n there was no time to talk. There's no... Why are you punishing me? Okay, Emery is predictable, but what about you, Chichin? You must realize every deal starts with negotiation. At least you could have tried. Lake shakes her head in disappointment. Emery, I hope so much after the we found you, everything would be better. What should we do now? You don't like something? Come on, speak up. I can hear. Emery bellows with unexpected anger. Nilek batches her anger. I'll tell you what I don't like. You left me. Thanks to you, I realized that a woman can do something bigger than scraping hides and cooking stew. I hoped you would become a chieftain and I'd be your advisor, and together we'd change the way of the tribe. But instead, you just disappeared without even saying goodbye. I have nothing left but to become a Kai's advisor who led this tribe through the whole Numari. Who do you think? Who negotiated with the tribe and who lived in the woman's hut all this time, serving food or serving dinner to the chieftain? Now we found you. You ruining everything. Now the chieftain is dead. Who will be the chief now? Will he even listen to me, or will he be like you? Letting his fist decide everything. Will this be the end of our tribe? Mary had her reasons for doing what she did. I have no doubt about that, and she didn't think about anything else except for her reasons. Congratulations, Mary. Now you're just like... I'm a real man from the Six Bears. You only think about yourself, you use your fists whether you need to or not, and then you leave it to the women to sort out the mess. So that's how you talk now? You want me to tell you why I smashed this old mushroom's face and why I fled? I'll tell you. Listen now. You wanted it? The war party I went with, you think we want went to fight giants? I thought that too. I was so happy. I was a fool. We did not go to kill the giants, Nilak. We went there to kill me. They thought giants would eat me up and they won't have to get their hands dirty, but I came back alive and with this sword. I thought no one would dare to say that Amory wasn't a real fighter, but they just laughed into my face and they said if the giant didn't kill me, the frost would. Then they left me alone in the wilderness without food or tent. And when I understand why, when I saw what this hunt was for, it was then, for the first time in my life, I felt real rage. Yes, Nilak, don't you turn away now. Look into my eyes. I killed them all with this sword. I'm not a thief, Nilak. I'm much worse. I'm a kinslayer. And you know why? I don't care. They deserved it. Our whole damn tribe can go to the dragon's maw. And me too? What? Do I deserve to die? Should I go to the dragon's maw too? No. You, this wasn't what I meant. You're not like them. I'm a part of this tribe, Amiri. If you don't want to help me, save it. You'd better leave. I'll manage without you. I'll ask Tiger Lords for help. Tiger Lords for help. Amiri spits on the ground, then grabs your hand in an iron grip and drags you away without saying another word. Kind of sad. So, uh, safe to say, things didn't go so well. I'm glad I let her kill him, though. That felt fair. Eleven, this is nine. Not very good. Not very good.
Yep. Give her that. Very good. I've already got plenty of stuff for that. These cookeries I could probably sell too. Not good. Yeah. None of this stuff was that great. Disappointing. Okay. Well, might as well head home. Not gonna really visit here. There's not much to visit yet. May we have a moment of respite? I'm hungry. When we stop. Yeah, I know something is happening, a curse of things. I've got someone working on it. We should gather our strength. You're telling me, game. I'm working on it. Time is at 10.40. Okay. So I'm going to claim this land, and then I'm going to head... Or, then I'm going to call it a night. Uh, I need to get some sleep tonight. Dude. Got a long day of work tomorrow. And then I got some rock climbing to do. But, yeah. Uh, after rock climbing, I will be on. Probably play a little bit more Warframe, and then jump back into this game. Check this. Thanks for stopping by. Good luck on your kingdom. I'm sure you'll probably catch up to me pretty quick. I'm not going to have too much time to play this week, but I'll be jumping on every night if I can. But uh, yeah, I will be definitely back on tomorrow, probably around more 8-ish than my usual 7 o'clock time. And that might be the trend for a little bit, depending on how these classes go. But yeah, uh, have a good night. See you later.